sometimes a rally will fizzle simply because there's no more good news to propel things. And that's how I felt today when the averages gave up the ghost on some not so hot new data points. With the Dow sinking 389 points, the SP tumbling 1.22% and the NASDAQ plunging 1.56%. Those disappointments put the rally on ice. At least for the moment. Now, I regard it as simple profit taking, but I get that this is a market that needs endless beats and rays from the companies that report. And the two that reported last night, and they were important, Adobe and Lenar didn't give us world-beating quarters or outlooks, even as I found both quarters well-executed and delivered. Now, let's turn to next week's game plan. We have got one of the strangest weeks of the year coming up because there's an overwhelming sense that the Fed's on hold, not raising rates next week. So I have to be the only one who's worried about what Jay Powell will say when the chairman speaks on Wednesday after the the next big meeting. Now, I make that point because I'm simply not seeing enough evidence that inflation has been tamed to where Powell would have to change the language he uses. Right now, he's at cross purposes with the bulls. Powell's much more worried about stopping inflation than he is about preserving earnings or jobs or corporate balance sheets or consumer spending, for that matter. He has to swim against the tide and talk about whether inflation's still trending lower, an argument that gets harder to make as oil goes higher and higher, right? Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.